All right, we're back. Sorry, guys. Uh, I did start this video, but I uh, got a little distracted. Um, Dad needed something. He's not feeling well, so I went and took care of him for a second. Um, so, again, this is the second video I'm doing today. Um, I'm doing a pour for my goddaughter, Marissa. Um, and she requested light pink and turquoise. So we're going to do that. I'm also using um, gold, white, and black in this painting. Um, just a little bit of white and black. Um, I want this to mainly be the colors that she requested. But I do really also like the gold. Um, the gold I'm using today is uh, DecoArt Americana Decor Metallics. And it's 24 karat gold. Um, I noticed that these metallic paints, they stand out really, really well. And they also create a lot of cells just on their own. So I like using them. Um, and then it also saves on the silicone that I have to use, or don't have to use when I want cells. So, uh, here we go. I already got some of the pink in the cup here, and then we're going to hit with a little bit of white. Then some turquoise. I don't have a lot of turquoise left, but this will be plenty to do this painting, so I'm not worried about it. And that just means I get to mix, mix up some more. So, and same with my gold, but I'm only using a little bit. So it shouldn't be a huge deal. And again, that just means more paint for you to mix up and to show you. So there's some gold in there. A little bit of black, and I mean a little bit of black. All the black I'm putting in there. All right, back to the pink. And this is an 8 by 10 canvas that I'm doing. So again, you need about 5 ounces of paint. A little bit more white. I want this to be a lighter painting, hence the white and the light pink. Um, also, she requested light pink, so I figured with those colors, it needed to be a lighter painting. All right, we're going to go ahead and hit up the rest of this turquoise in here. And this bottle is a 8-ounce bottle of paint. And I just use regular um, condiment bottles, and I find them on Amazon. So, And as you can see, I label it just in case I forget what color it actually is. I know what I need to or what color I need to make to fill that bottle back up. I reuse my bottle, so. You can also wash them out and all that if you want to do a different color in it. So, there's that. I'm going to do a tiny bit more gold. Mm. Yeah, just a little bit. I'm also going to be putting a vinyl on this. Um, she's a big softball kid so I'm gonna put a softball vinyl on it I think um, I found a couple that I like so I just need to uh, see which one she likes best and then we'll put that on here for her and depending on how it pops up we'll be we'll determine what color the vinyl will be but anyways so I'm gonna flip cup this um, I think I said in my very first video I like to do flip cups. It's like my favorite thing, favorite one to do. So we're going to do that. Um, I'm also going to be torching this one. So we got my torch here. And you always want to let, let your cup sit here for a minute to let the paint all drip down. Because, um, you know, it, 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 yeah. The paint will tend to stick to the top here, and if you just leave your cup turned over like so, it'll flow down. So I leave it flipped for a couple seconds before I actually flip it. Alright. Let's go ahead and pull the cup up. And yes, I do tap my cup in all the open areas to get all the paint out of the cup. 
So far, so good. Lots of pink. That's what I was going for. Lots of pink. All right, let's get this quick torch. There we go. It was like, no, I don't want to come out. And see what I mean? Look at this gold right here forming this, these cells right in here. I think that's going to be a great little accent piece to this painting. So let's go ahead. We're going to go this way first so I can try to keep most of that gold I got. See what I mean? I just put a tiny bit of black in here. And it, it has shown its head, for sure. I won't say ugly head, because, you know, black does have some good qualities to it. But when it's not wa as wanted as it tends to make itself be, it, uh... You know, it's a little off-putting. All right, there we go. So based off of this, the vinyl's probably gonna be turquoise because I didn't get a lot of turquoise in here. But see how this gold helped make some of these cells over here? I lost a lot of those little ones that I had at the beginning, but more will pop up. This is just uh, it at the moment. Let's give it another torching. I always torch twice. Uh, the first one pops the initial air bubbles and this one's gonna pop the secondary bubbles and help activate a couple more cells and all that. I don't know, sometimes I hold my torch a little too close to the paint and I get reaction kind of like this. You'll see it more when I get closer to the painting, give you a close up. But um, I don't mind that, some people do. I don't mind it. You know, it's, I probably burnt the paint there, but it also looks like some pretty cool tiny cells and I like it. So, you know, to each their own. If you don't like it, hold your torch farther away and you won't get it. <laughs> pretty much all I got for you there. All right, so I'll let that sit for a minute. While it sits, I'm gonna show you a couple other examples I have with my, uh, with that uh, deco art gold. Um, and these ones are also ones that I put vinyls on. Uh, obviously, these are Power Ranger. And look at, there's no silicone in this painting. So look at all those cells I got just from that gold. I think it looks pretty cool. Um, my brother didn't want me to put the vinyl on it. He's like, it is too cool for you to put that vinyl on. And I was like, well, this was the purpose for it. So this is what I did. <laughs> and then we have this one. Also Power Rangers, part of the Power Ranger series I've done, um, which I don't believe I have on my Facebook page yet, but um, I'll probably put them up there. Uh, these ones are not for sale. These are just ones that I did for myself. Um, I'm a Power Ranger nerd, so there's that. And all, all these cells in here is because of the gold. You can't see it too well from this, but if I hold it at the right angle, you can kind of see a little shine from the gold. And that is from that from that gold over there. So all the cells that I got mainly in here is because of that gold paint. So I just find it really, really cool. And again, going back to the Stanley one that I've shown you guys, this is the same gold. And I really, really do like the, the, the what this gold does to paintings and all that. It's really kind of cool. All right, so there's that. We're gonna take you down for a close-up on this one because I don't believe it's gonna change any more than it already has. So here we go. Bear with me for a minute while I get you off my stand. All right, and the lower right-hand corner. I got a little bit of green in there and I'm sure that's from the uh, turquoise mixing with the uh, gold. Because gold Let's face it, gold is just a shiny yellow. 
kind of like this. It kind of makes me think of a galaxy right there in the middle. So it, it, even though it's a little bit more black in here than I was wanting, um, I'm okay with it. I think it'll be fine. You know, you can't just do, uh, well, you can just do two colors, but it'd be pretty bland. So I always add a little bit more in there. And I also don't see any of that white that I put in there. So that's kind of kind of interesting how that kind of went away. I think there's a little bit of it right in here, but not much. So the white disappeared and the black stayed. Look at that. I, and I use more white than I did black. So see, you know, the, the paint has a mind of its own. It does what it wants. So, oh, sorry, we're not going to do that again. All right, so uh, this has been this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to see more works from me. And uh, we'll see you next time.